Honorable Member for Laxingan Parkland on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Environment and Parks. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I rise today on behalf of the Honorable Minister of uh, Environmental and Parks uh, to move second reading of Bill 31, the Environmental Protection Status Amendment Act. Sand and gravel operators play an important role in our province, and we want to provide certainty wherever possible for our job creators while protecting the environment. That's why we're proposing amendments to the Environmental Protection and Enhancement Act and the Public Lands Act to clarify how minerals and pits are defined in provincial legislation and provide clarity about how sand operations are best regulated. In May uh, this year, in 2020, Alberta's Court of Appeal ruled that sand is a mineral under the Environmental Protection and Enhancement Act. The implications of this decision mean that sand extraction operations, moving more than 45,000 tonnes of material per year, must be now be regulated as a quarry instead of a pit. And to put this in context, uh, Mr. Speaker, if you were to take uh, 45,000 tonnes, spread it over 10 kilometres, about six inches deep, that's the amount of material that we have. So not very much, quite arguably. While the terms quarry and pit appear similar, uh, since they both revolve from moving in situ material from the ground, they're regulated very differently. A pit is regulated through a simpler authorization process that's been in place in Alberta since 2004 and it's been working very well. A quarry that produces more than 45,000 tonnes of material per year requires an approval under the Environmental Protection and Enhancement Act as well as the Environmental Impact Assessment. The court decision contradicts the, the intent of Alberta's current regulatory framework around sand. Without Bill 31, sand extraction projects that would have been regulated as a pit with a straightforward authorization process will now be regulated as a quarry. Subjugating sand to the same regulatory oversight as minerals is unnecessary and does not reflect the actual environmental impacts of sand and gravel operation. This is complicated and unfair to our sand and gravel operators and creates unavoidable challenges for future sand operations in the province, including those with implications under currently under review. The Environmental and Parks uh, Department estimates that about 500 sand and gravel operations would be affected by this, Mr. Speaker. The applicants who are waiting for approval submitted in the information uh, required for a pit authorization, not a quarry approval. So these applications are now incomplete and they can't be authorized without passing Bill 31. So Bill 31, what does it do? In order to address the implications of the court decision, we need Bill 31 to clarify, clearly identify how sand is regulated. We need to change the definition of minerals and pit in the Environmental Protection and Enhancement Act and remove the reference to silica sand from the Public Lands Act. Amending the Public Lands Act to remove references to silica sand will remove additional uncertainty about the interpretation of sand. Sand is already defined in our legislation, so defining silica sand creates confusion, ambiguity and more work for the applicants. Bill 31 will align with the current framework with the philosophy and the intent of our legislation. This will maintain lower costs for the industry and the government and avoid unnecessary work activities with well understood environmental impacts and instill confidence for those seeking to invest in Alberta. So the stakeholders uh, might ask Mr. Speaker where are they at on this? I've heard from the Alberta Sand and Gravel Associations and for Rural Municipalities Associations and both of, them, um, both of them are in favor with the amendments for passing under Bill 31. Some larger operators with more financial resources uh, that they have at their availability may have benefited from the court decision. It removes, um, it removes the requirement for municipal permitting. While the two-step regulation in this industry is uh, in the Environmental Department, we'll look into it, it's, it, it still needs some work. It's not recommended municipalities be excluded from the process simply as an unintended consequence of this court decision. So in conclusion, the amendments under Bill 31 will avoid uh, unnecessary red tape for industry, provide clarity to the operators, instill confidence in our investors looking to do business in Alberta, and maintain the effective environmental sand and regulatory process for pits that have been in place for more than 15 years. And Mr. Speaker, I just want to give my uh, un unfettered thanks to the Environmental uh, Minister for allowing a private member to speak on this, as some of the court rulings actually originated in my area. And again, I think it shows a difference between how our government operates and how the previous government operates. I've heard lots of backbencher comments before and I can say wholeheartedly that as a private member, our voices are heard here and we're working very well all together. And with that, I'd like to adjourn debate, Mr. Speaker.